It's been months since the daylight shooting of Red Scorpion gangster Jonathan Bacon outside Kelowna's Grand Delta Hotel. Vancouver uh, Sun reporter Kim Bolin, guest speaker at a Central Okanagan Crime Stoppers lunch recently, says there's no question it was retaliation. It was a, a retaliatory attack for other murders that occurred in the Lower Mainland in months prior to that. Bacon's Hells Angels friend, Larry Amaro, seen here being treated at the scene, was seriously wounded in the attack. An independent soldier, also in the bullet-riddled car, escaped from the scene. The shootings and gangland murders in the Lower Mainland prior to the Bacon shooting in Kelowna, too many to mention. There are a number of players involved, but it comes down to two groups with loose affiliations. On one side is the Dak Dury group. Groups that rose to power following the murder of notorious gangster Bindi Shohal in 1998. Certainly uh, the, the DAT group, which uh, was in opposition to the Bacon uh, group and their friends, uh, has had a number of their members shot. Uh, a major player in the DAT group, a fellow named Jujar Kun Kun, uh, was critically wounded in another shooting and attempt on his life. He is recovering amazingly because I think the belief was he was also going to succumb to his injury. The Dury Group lost a soldier last week following a daylight shooting with eerie similarities to the Kelowna hit. It was uh, Sandeep Dury who was gunned down uh, at the Sheraton Wall Centre earlier this week in an incredibly brazen shooting. If people thought the one in Kelowna was brazen, uh, in this case the murderer walked right into the lobby of a five-star hotel and killed his target and walked out again, no mask, nothing. So that was really sending a message uh, to people that uh, there's no fear there and that people that are aligned with his particular group had better watch out. Bullen says the Doc Dury group is associated with the UN gang, while the Bacon Brothers, founders of the Red Scorpions, are friends with the Hells Angels and Independent Soldiers, which explains why there was a Hells Angel and Independent Soldier in Jonathan Bacon's car. So the question is, who's responsible for the Kelowna killing? I mean, I don't want to speculate publicly. The police have a very active investigation. They have said that, um, you know, people loyal to those who were hit believe it was the Dak Dure UN group. So, you know, what particular, uh, you know, flag the shooter was carrying from that uh, alliance, I can't say. So far, no arrest. Kelly Hayes, Castanet Media.